Gentlemen, here we go then with bout number two of our evening. VIP Boxing bring you a cruiserweight contest. This one's scheduled for four three-minute rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Phil Morris from Liverpool. Up on the sound of the bell, our scoring referee is Darren Sargison from Manchester. Firstly on my left, boxing out of the blue corner. On the scales at 14 stone, four pounds, 11 ounces. Two visits to the ring as a professional boxer, one victory and one defeat. This evening he's wearing these solid black trunks with white trim. Boxing out of Bruno, Czech Republic, Liverpool, please welcome Ivo Zetnicek. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner, stands his undefeated opponent, scaling at 14 stone, three pounds, six ounces. Four fights, four victories, two inside the scheduled distance finishing. He's wearing this evening the blue, black, and silver trunks. Introducing the undefeated Liverpool fighting talent of Jay Farrell. Referee Darren Sargison now with his final instructions to both boxers. A cruiserweight contest. This one's scheduled for four three-minute rounds. The old Jay Farrell usually means business. Could be a case of blink and you don't miss it. He's taking on Ivo Zedinyak. Zednicek, sorry. I, re I really do struggle with these Czech names. Check us out. Round one. Zedny Czech's got a pretty low record, hasn't he, Chris? One and one, but he has got a Muay Thai fighters tattooed on his arm, so I wonder if he's had a pretty extensive career in kickboxing or Thai boxing. Looks, looks in very good shape tonight. Um, Farrell's making a typical fast start that he usually makes. Um, I think last time we were here, he blew Jamie Angler away in one round. I think he's just seen what um, Zedny Czech's made of. In fact, in fact, he is a Thai boxer, isn't he? Look how he's holding his left foot. He's got bruises all over his shin, he's very light on his front foot, so he's, he's a Thai boxer. So you're way for it, John, you've got more hey, expertise there you go. that area than me. Look at the marks on his shin. Oh, Beautiful left, left hook. That's the one. Stop him in the tracks. Another big left hook. Farrell's look, starting to look like a destructive puncher at this level, isn't he? I, I, I know the opponents are limited, but it's a good sign, isn't it, when you can get rid of journeyman. He's just got to not just make everything about that left up now. He's hurt him over a couple of times. That all he's trying to throw. He just jab and force his way into it. Make the opening again. Took a shot, took a right and then didn't he? Just a little bit over anxious. And another right hand. It's been a brilliant start to the fight. I don't know if the fact he's took them left hooks so well has just maybe knocked the confidence out of Farrell a little bit because he's come back since and Farrell's took a number of shots. There's another one. Yeah, it did. Farrell just had a little look at his glove there, didn't he? Maybe a little bit concerned that maybe he picked up a little cut. Must have just felt something. And just taking a couple of backward steps. Just needs to regroup here, doesn't he, Jay Farrell? Beautiful when he when he just touch bangs, you know, and hides it. It's it's a tremendous shot, isn't it? I think the fact that he's had an extra expecting it a little bit now, he's um, he can prepare for it that little bit better. I think the first that's another one there. It's it's a bit of a battle, this, isn't it? Zedney checks right hand against Farrell's left hook. <laughs> I wonder if stamina is going to be an issue because there's no jabbing, there's no setting up shots up or nothing like that. Every single shot that they're throwing, they're putting everything behind it. Maybe they'll feel that a few rounds down the line. Good fight here on a VIP show from the BT Convention Centre. We've got Shakib Ali watching, Jake James fighting next week, he's watching. David Lee, the, the voice of Ireland's watching. Our old friend of the show. Yeah, uh, I believe there's a, a competition going to be run later on, Chris. Uh, during Nathan Bennett's fight. Look forward uh, to that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll be running a competition. I wonder who's, who's going to win that. Is that the Easter Sunday breakfast? That's the Easter Sunday breakfast competition. <laughs> Leon Fell, yeah, you're right. Would love it when a journeyman brings it. Great round. Really was a good round. What do you like to see, Luke? You know what? What's Jay Farrell got to do? Got to do here? But well, left up was landing flush, but Zenicek looked like he was taking it quite well. I think he just if he sets it up a little bit better and Seconds it gives out. him something else to think about. I Round think it, if you keep throwing that left up, like you said before, it, his opponent's kind of preparing for that. He makes it up a little bit and then throw the left up, like he did the first left up that landed that seemed to rock him. He set it up nicely. And I think that's what the corner will have told him as well, just to vary up a little bit and set up that left hook. David Rafferty. Yeah, that's how we do things on VIP boxing. Chris, just give Lee Hogan a nudge next to you. One, <laughs> two, beautiful shot. Three, four, Zemi five, six, fighting to get up here, six, but he's badly rocked. Seven, eight, no, nine. No, he's going to be waved off. Ten. Yeah, Darren Sargentson's waved it off. He timed it, just mistimed it a little bit. Beautiful shot by Jay Farrell. He's got power, hasn't he? It's, that was emphatic, to be fair. Uh, I would like to see him box a little bit more, though, because there's going to be times when he's going to need to. He is very reliant on that power, and I can understand why, because he has got some aim. Um, it is a very useful weapon to have, but I do think the first round there, there was some... I wouldn't say worry and signs, but he did get caught a lot more in tonight's fight than what he's been caught in his whole career. So, like I said, it's, it's good to see a puncher and, and get knockouts like that, but I would like to see him box a little bit more, maybe get a few rounds under his belt. I think Zednicek was maybe given a bit of confidence by the way he was landing that right hand. He could see a way to win, couldn't he? So it made him a little bit more carefree with his own style and it just opened him up, up to Jay's power, really. But as you say, you know, he took a few right hands and just had to regather himself in that first round, Jay Farrell. Great boxing respect, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for both of our boxers in the ring. And I'm sure you'll agree, great to see Evo back on his feet again. Well, the official end of the contest, ladies and gentlemen, comes at 39 seconds of round number two. Evo Zednicek fails to beat Darren Sargent's count. Therefore, your winner, he is still undefeated, the fighting Liverpool talent of Jay Farrell. Another win, another exciting addition to this little Northwest Cruiserweight scene we've got going on at the moment. There's a long list of fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, All please a round of applause as well as our runner-up leaves the ring as well there, Ivo Zednicek. Oh, a lot of cruiserweights all at similar stage of a career. All he entered the ring undefeated, he leaves the ring undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, Liverpool's Jay Farrell! All on a collision course and Jay Farrell looks to be the puncher out of, the, out of that particular group.